Hello, Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and welcome to another uh, Q&A session for Neos Land. We're focusing on the Kickstarter. And uh, I'd like to welcome today everybody here uh, that is live in the Hangout. Welcome, everyone. Hey, Marcus. Hey. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> So they're all afraid to speak because of the technical problems we've had today. But a uh, saint used his heavenly powers, and um, he uh, magically fixed it for us. Um, so we owe him a debt of gratitude, um, maybe a little bit more horse dung. <laughs> exactly what I want. Since apparently it is about to be the most valuable item in the game. And let me explain. So, uh, Jacques, we have our um, daily rewards that are resetting, you know, after the first 24 hours, uh, one of these rewards is being removed. Uh, there's 30 rewards, and so the, the campaign goes for 30 days. So today is now day 29, which means one of the rewards have been removed, and this time tomorrow, it'll be another one that's removed, so it'll be 28. Um, and uh, we were talking about horse dung, and um, we've been making a lot of fun of it, and you say this is officially what's being removed today. Yeah, that's correct. There's only be 112 horse dung in the game ever. Oh, so, oh. <laughs> so it can be a very unique and very expensive item. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, and s somebody here is about to be like a billionaire in game. <laughs> yeah. With horse it's dung. Not me. Somebody cornered the market uh, and they came up with a brilliant idea. So. <laughs> yeah, somebody in a purple shirt. No naming anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All he does is laugh. Well, he, he, he owns he owns ten percent of the market now at the moment. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Okay, so um, Fez, do you please guilt, plead guilty? I do. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, uh, Good I man. Few, that was very creative. I've got a few pledges. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, he, he, he pledged a couple of accounts. <laughs> so, uh, very good. Very good. Okay, so, well, now that's interesting. So, the, this horse dung better be awesome shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, now that we're back on track and everything, uh, and... The next, uh, the next item that we haven't talked about yet in, uh, in these daily rewards is a cooking pot. And why do I want a cooking pot? Well, if you are going to do any cooking as a skill, you're definitely going to need some, some pots and so on. But uh, this one will have some uh, special uh, added uh, abilities. It will give you, like, if you cook certain, certain ingredients stuff, it will add a certain buff, extra buff to it, which you won't be getting in any other pots that you, that you do. They'll just be normal cooking ones that does basic stuff, basic cooking mm -hmm. buffs. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so for everybody who gets one of these, and if they're, um, if, if they're uh, a chef in the game or whatnot, because, because food is going to have multiple uses, I mean sustenance, yeah. but also uh, some food will be able to have buffs and, and things like that, um, if that's what you're saying, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, so... Um, this will help with that. So, so maybe, uh, maybe only the people who own these special cooking pots will have the the whatever buff, the buff of breadcrumbs, the breadcrumb <laughs> buff, help you find your way home. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it will also make the the food and stuff that you make, you know, in it uh, very sought after, right? Because we'll have additional mm -hmm. buff to it, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, if you start selling it, you know, it's going to be a good uh, tool to use for generating in extra income in the in the game. And uh, if I wanted to, let, let's just say that I'm really not into cooking at all. Um, can I, uh, can I, can I sell this cooking pot to another player in the game? Yeah, you certainly can. Mm -hmm. And can they lose that cooking pot in any way? No, all items that you that you get in the Kickstarter rewards is uh, basically you can't lose it from if you get killed or something like that. It always stays with you. So just to make mm -hmm. sure that people don't lose stuff that they got from the Kickstarter. Speaking of losing things, um, I have the first question of the show. Um, I, I don't want to say people are dumb, but that's, what it's re that's really what I am saying. I'll just be honest. Um, people are going to be dumb, and they are going to use really insecure passwords, or they are going to um, accidentally expose their login and password to the public, or 
They're going to um, use their log, same you know, login and password that they use in the forums, you know, in some fan site. They're going to use it in the game and everything, yeah. and people are going to get their accounts hacked. Um, I think no game is immune to this. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot of things that we can do to help mitigate that, but um, what are we going to do for those players, who, I won't call them dumb anymore, I'll just say those players who make a mistake <laughs> and get their account hacked. What happens if my account gets hacked and um, they delete my characters and, um, and they sell off all of my stuff? Well, one one thing we definitely can do is uh, we can uh, monitor each player and see exactly what is what is being done and what is did in the world at any given time. We have the monitoring software already for that mm -hmm. set up, mm -hmm. so we can literally see you know if somebody hacked your account and then you say oh they did it on this time or whatever you know we can follow through with that and and do an investigation into that you know and uh, see see what we get from that right. Mm -hmm. And then accordingly, we will most probably, depending on you know what it is and so on, you know we'll uh, we'll help the player back back get his stuff back again or somehow and get everything working again. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we can see who you trade with, you know where it went from there. We can literally follow any anything that's done in the world to AP. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, what do you tell me on the third time my account gets hacked? <laughs> <laughs> Well, on hell? the first time already, we will be telling you to change your uh, <laughs> password and stuff, right? So mm -hmm. you'll definitely be changing things, right? So if it happens in the third time, we will definitely investigate a little bit more and see, uh, you know, why that's happening and stuff like that, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. Maybe there needs yeah. to be a fee or something like that uh, that, yeah. that goes up each time. Kind of like the alarm companies do <laughs> here in the United States or the, the cities that, that control alarm permits. What they do is like first alarm is free, second alarm is free, but then you get a warning. Third alarm in a year, and they charge you for the time that the police did to to dispatch people and investigate. Yeah. And and then if it happens again, they fine you on top of it like an extra hundred dollars each time. And um, you know it's 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 um, you know it may not be fair to somebody who's the victim of being of being hacked or whatever. But at the same time, we can't expect the company to go to a huge expense every time and lose a whole lot of money um, on uh, on you know on that. So that's yeah, just that's my great. opinion. I'll let you yeah. I'll let you uh, you know dictate how that actually works. But uh, um, well, I also do think that it's important to uh, investigate properly to see you know if one person gets hacked and we can figure out how that what that happened right. We can prevent that for for other people too right. So. Yes, that would definitely be a priority for us to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And will you have um, uh, once the funding is done here and we're building the game, will you have uh, people dedicated to uh, anti-fraud, anti-hacking, and security yep. of the game? Yeah, we already got somebody that's lined up for that. That's already working and doing things like that. Okay, that's dedicated to that. Good, good. I'm glad you're thinking about that already. Okay, so that makes me feel better. Now I can uh, accidentally broadcast my password on. Twitch. <laughs> I hope that you'll make the login screen a separate screen from the actual game screen. That way, us broadcasters who attach to it, it won't show our credentials. Yeah, that's good. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there are some games that do show our credentials when we make a mistake, and uh, I have made that mistake before. So, <laughs> yes, even me, not immune. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got uh, we've got a great lineup of people here, and um, let's uh, let's see if we can you know give everybody a chance uh, to get something asked and answered, and um, uh, one of you can chime in first. I'm throwing the ball to you guys. Who's catching? <laughs> I guess okay. I will be first. Okay. Hello, Oleg. How are you? I I'm actually in Russian, so. Sorry for my accent. That's okay. We like Russians too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the the Russian gaming market, I think, is very very large. Is that correct? Not really, but uh, yeah, we have some great games like World of Tanks. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, it was a Russian game sometime. Mm -hmm. Yep, I played it. I like it. Yeah, I, so. I saw your videos. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, Oleg, uh, what uh, what question do you have today? 
I had a question about uh, mercenaries. Will there be something like um, a contract uh, or something like that, um, so that some guy can uh, pay me for killing some other guy? So, like, uh, I think we've termed that as bounty hunter. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and mercenary might be a great title for someone who does that instead of bounty hunter. I think mercenary <laughs> sounds better. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, so, you, is, is that a profession that Oleg that you want to um, choose to work on? I would love to. Mm -hmm. Will you, um, will you be doing PvP as well? Like, will you kill indiscriminately or only under contract? Mm, I don't really know. I guess if they pay me good stuff, then only contract. Mm -hmm. And uh, should. Um, uh, so this is a question for you, Oleg. Uh, if we have reputation, and like let's say that uh, you just go out and kill an innocent person, and so your reputation goes down, and but you're a mercenary and you receive a contract where you're paid to go out and kill somebody, should that uh, kill that you make on that other person should that affect your reputation at all? That's an interesting question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was wondering if it should. I think it should uh, raise my reputation as a mercenary, a bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it may like, also uh, lower your reputation, though, if they're a good guy. <laughs> yeah, it depends. It's probably on the bounty, right? That that's uh, put on the person, right? If you put a, a bounty on somebody that stole stuff from you and he's a he's a bad guy, then it will be a positive. And if it's a if he's a if he's a good good guy, then it'll be a negative, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there should but be I, also a reputation, like uh, someone can uh, look my stats and uh, see that, like I'm professional mercenary, I can kill everyone, and something like that. Or I'm a noob and I die. Yeah, I totally think that you should be able to have like a resume or a CV of your uh, of your uh, really? professional history. Yeah, yeah. We should we should have we should have uh, kill boards or whatever where. <laughs> We can, uh, you know, look up a character, see how many times you've been killed, how many other people you've killed, um, and mine's going to be awful. I'm going to be at the top of the charts for people dying. Um, <laughs> it just sucks, but at least we'll be able to claim fame to something. Worst player in the game. <laughs> well, you can hire me, and I will protect you. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. My mercenary bodyguard. In game. Yes, or I'll just have you go out after everybody that kills me, and then they'll think twice about doing it again. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, Oleg, uh, thank you for that question. So, uh, Casper, how are you today? Uh, I'm good, Marky, thank you. Oh, yeah, this is uh, No Way, NL, right? I recognize the voice. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Well... And, and you you are, a, you are, um, you do um, YouTube content, right? Oh yeah, I make some uh, YouTube content uh, of the games that I play lately. That's most likely Infestation and uh, Seven Days to Die at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, you're Netherlands, correct? Yeah, I'm from the Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, and so so what attracts you to this game? Why why are you here? What why why pay any attention to it? Well, this game is different than any any other game. Um, the opportunities that this game gives uh, attracts me the most, and uh, yeah, I want to be a part of it. That, that's for sure. I'm gonna pledge my uh, Kickstarter donation this week, so I hope I don't lose too many uh, gifts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, actually, if you get the ten dollar pledge in right now, then you're locked in on the gifts, and then you can up it to a higher level. Okay. Later. Well, There's also a thing to note is that Kickstarter won't charge you for any pledges you do now until it's done. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're waiting for money to come in or something, it doesn't matter as long as it gets, you know, you, know, you have money before the Kickstarter ends. That's, that's all. You know, it doesn't charge anything at the moment. I don't think. Yeah, you're right about that. So I guess I will do it after the show then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, Make sure you get those rewards. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, no way. Um, now, I, I've seen some of your content and everything. Uh, would you be interested in joining the team of, of people making content for 
for uh, Neos land? Oh yeah, that that's for sure. Uh, I, I want to, like I said, I want to uh, participate in this game, and I want to create content and uh, spread the word out. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking of making some uh, Dutch videos uh, to spread the word out in the Netherlands. So uh, I hope we get a big fan base here. It's always uh, good to have some Dutchies um, in the game. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Good. Glad to have you here. So uh, what kind of question do you have for us uh, today? Well, I want to add something up uh, on the previous question. Uh, you were saying that uh, you want to be the top killer in the game. So if someone puts a hit out on you or a, uh, a reward, would I get more positive reputation if I kill the top leader? Um, for example, if I kill uh, the number 10 ranked killer, uh, I think it should give you more uh, positive reputation because the guy is killing a lot of people and you're risking your life out there to get him. So that should... Def definitely be a risk and reward situation, right? Like uh, yeah. trying to do a lot of things. So yeah, if you if you have a bigger reward, I would definitely think that we would add it in that you can uh, you can do that, right? That you get additional rep and stuff like that according to your risk that you're taking. Yeah. I would also think that um, that there would be people that would try abuse like rep farming, or whatnot, and so I, I would think that also something should be put in place where. Um, the higher the rep of the person, the, the larger the bounty has to be, or yeah. the, the more money has to, you know, it needs, it needs to involve a gold sink and uh, to keep people from farming it. Yeah, that sounds interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so if, you're, if you're number one most glorious person in the game and somebody places a bounty on you, it's going to cost them a lot to do it. And, and, and maybe a lot of that money will go to waste or go to the you know the in-game government, um, but you, know, you get your revenge. <laughs> mercenary, but the mercenary would be paid well. So and we can also. I would also think we could link that directly to uh, the people that's putting up the bounty, right? So if you put a bounty on uh, on a big hit on somebody and they they get killed, you know, from somebody that took your bounty. You know, the, you can get some rep from it too, and and vice versa. If you're uh, you want to assassinate somebody and you put a bounty just to to kill somebody that's a normal person, it works the other way, right? So you get a negative uh, uh, reputation. You know, it's become like more a worse a, a worse person than than normal. So if I yeah. put out hits on a whole bunch of people and pay a whole bunch of people to do that, could I end up with the title of like Godfather? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I have nothing to do with it. Yes, Godfather. Yes, Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that could be cool. That could be cool. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to um, to design that up. Yeah. You know, to, 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 yeah, to do a roundtable on that and come up with some suggestions. And and Oleg and Noe, you should both. Um, if you can both attend that one, I think that would be a great one to have you at. So. Oh yeah, sure.